Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode from Network From Home. Today, our focus is once again on your router. Specifically, we're talking about how to log into your router settings. And this might seem like a trivial task, but it's actually quite foundational. You need to be able to log into your router settings so you can change the names of your wireless networks. You can change the passwords of these wireless networks. You can change the password of your router settings to make it more secure. Honestly, there are so many things that build off of being able to log into your router that you need to make sure that you understand how to do this. And the first thing we need to understand here is we need to make sure that we're looking at the right device. Here's an example of a router. For those of you that maybe aren't totally sure which device is your router, I will link to a previous video that I've made that talks about the differences between what a modem looks like, what a router looks like, and in the situations where you have only one device in your home network, chances are it's a modem and router combination device, so you really can't go wrong here. And the reason this is important is if we wanna access our router settings, we actually need to go to the device itself. So we need to go to my router in this case, and I'll let you in on a little bit of a secret here there's a way to accomplish logging into your router remotely without having to get up and look at your device. I'll explain that to you shortly here once we get into the actual screen portion and what you need to do on your system. So enough of that right now. Let's jump into what we need to get from our actual physical router device in order to access its settings. And what we need to do is your router will have an informational sticker on it. Usually it's on the bottom of the device and it will have something that says either IP address or default access location. And I'll see if I can show you a good example here. Okay, as you can see right there, it says default access HTTP TP link Wi-Fi.net. So that's something you want to write down and remember because that is a location you can go to to access your router settings. Okay, now that you have the default access location for your router settings, we need to use a browser to actually access those settings and log into your router settings. So let's jump into this now. I'll show you what you need to do on your computer or the device that you're using to log into your router settings. Okay, so here we are, I'm on my computer and I'm going to show you how to get to the page where you can access your router settings. Before I do that, I promised that I would show you a way to remotely grab the location of your router settings. So all we need to do here as we type in CMD command prompt. From there, all you have to do is type in IP config, just like that and hit enter. This is on a Windows system, but if you have a Mac, I believe you, you just need to type in IF config and it will give you the information you need. And what you need to look at is this default gateway here this will be the IP address of your router, which is 192.168.0.1. So with that information in mind, let me open up a browser. I'm gonna open up a new incognito window. So here I have an incognito window. This will just make sure that I won't automatically log into my router when I go to its settings. But as you remember, my default location or my default gateway IP address was 192.168.0.1. And if you're not sure what the IP address of your router is, just keep in mind that for most routers, the IP address 
by default will be 192.168.0.1. And now when you get to this page, you're expected to put in your username and password. And I know what you're thinking. Well, what if I'm not sure what my username or password is? Well, this will depend upon the make and model of your router. In some cases, it will be that information, the default username and password will be on the informational sticker on the device itself. Other times, like in my case, with a TP-Link router, I actually had to go in and create a username and password the first time that I accessed my router settings. And that's why here, if I go to log in with TP-Link ID, it gives me, I put in my email address and then the password to log into my router settings. So as an example here, let me just log in and prove to you that this is where you go to get your router settings. Okay, so here I am. I have successfully entered the username and password of my router. As you can see here, I can access a bunch of settings here, USB settings, guest network, if I want to set up a guest network. All of these things become available to me because I now am able to set up and access my router settings. So that's all you need to do to access your router settings. As you can see, it's not super complicated once you know where to go. But again, this opens so many doors for you. And this is a video that I'm going to be referencing as I show you additional capabilities, things you can do with your router, settings you can change to make your wireless networks more secure, or just added functionality to give you a better network experience in your home. So hopefully you found this useful. If you have any questions about this information, please drop a comment below. If you found this, use, this video useful or helpful, please hit the like or the subscribe button. I'm going to be providing a lot more videos and content on similar topics moving forward. So if you found this useful or you enjoyed my content, please come along for the ride. Another thing that I should note is I'm trying out this microphone for the first time. I'd love to get your feedback. So just in the comments, feel free to let me know if you thought this was a better experience with the microphone or if I still need to tweak some things to make it easier to understand and provide a better content experience. As always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home and we'll catch you on the next one.